Get ready for some football because Z-Code System is bringing you some picks for the NFL Week 1 season kicking off this week on September the 12th. That is Sunday. But also we're going to take a look at the game that's going to start off the weekend, which is going to be played on the 9th. That is Thursday night between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Super Bowl champions. They're going to be hosting the Dallas Cowboys. And we're going to take a look at that game as well to kick things off uh, and look at a couple of other games that are going to be played during week one. So welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that right now before we go any further and also like the video so you can stay up to date on everything we do here on Z Code System. And we preview lots of different sports throughout the week and then throughout the month. And today we're going to be talking about the super or excuse me, the NFL week one action that is going to kick off this weekend. As you can see there on the blog, we posted previously about the Major League Baseball picks there, Giants and Dodgers. Uh, and as I scroll down, we also had some picks for last weekend's NCAA football action that took place. And we focused on that Alabama versus Miami game. So you can go always over to the blog and you can read up on all of our picks that we post there. We post videos as well. And of course, we post videos here on YouTube if that's where you're watching it from. So you can check out what we post and get to know uh, more about Z Code System if you're not a member already. And if you're not, well, why aren't you? Go over and you can use all of the systems that we have at Z Code System once you sign up and you can get great picks from the pro betters that we have working on the site. So guys, we're going to take a look at three games coming up on NFL Week 1. And as I said, we're going to look at that first game that's going to take place on Thursday, September the 9th, which is the Tampa Bay Bucks taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, so this is the VIP if you've never been there. And of course, you can see all of the sports that we profile on the VIP and we put picks up uh, all of the all the time. Uh, every day, we've got picks going up, predictions going up. And these are made using the reams of data that we have and the algorithms, uh, as well as we also have uh, members who are experts, uh, professional bettors, who are posting information uh, throughout the week as well on the VIP. So you can go over there and get up-to-date information before you make your betting predictions and as well as your investments in sports betting. Okay, so we're going to look at week one here. We've got September the 9th, and I'm just going to hit the drop-down menu. And we've got the, see, we've got all the games there. So if you want to get your NFL action, if you're an NFL better, and you might be, you probably are if you're watching this video, then this is a great place to go every week before the games start to make your sports betting investments. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this Cowboys versus Bucks game. And, you know, as I wrote in the blog, um, the Cowboys are uh, a team that did not do very well last season, a pretty poor season under 500. And this is a, a team that is actually being predicted to do much better this year. They're actually predicted to have a not only a winning record, but a 12-win season. Uh, 12 and 5 was one of the predictions uh, that I saw for the Dallas Cowboys uh, going into this season, which I thought was a little bit generous, but perhaps that is because of playing in the NFC East. Um, perhaps that is one of the reasons that um, uh, that bet, or the, sorry, not bet, that prediction, uh, wins prediction was uh, given. Now, as you can see there, the Dallas Cowboys uh, have a hot trend of five straight losses going into this game. Uh, obviously, those uh, took place uh uh, before the regular season, and we saw three of those in preseason. Now, it depends on how you want to weigh preseason and how important preseason is at going into this. Uh, you might weigh it as something pretty important. Um, so we've got this game coming up. We've got a total of 51.5 going into this game. And as you can see there, uh, a total prediction that is um, – uh, that's been set by the bookies, uh, 51.5. And we've got a uh, prediction of under 51.5 points for this game. Uh, and we've also got a score prediction. Now, the score prediction does give the Cowboys the favor here. It is picking them to win 32-15 to 15 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going completely against that score prediction with a money line bet on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win. And I also think that this is going to finish under 51.5 points. Uh, for this game, and we can just take a look at the head-to-head -head before we finish off this game here. And we can see that the Bucks won the last game that these two teams played, but that came back in 2019, so we've had a whole season uh, in between and a Super Bowl winning season for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, and as you can see there that uh, these teams have kind of gone back and forth uh, with wins three, or was that two for the Bucks and uh, four for the Cowboys. But again, that dates back to 2011. 
I'm going to throw a little bit of that out uh, because the Bucks were very good last year with Tom Brady as quarterback, and I can't see anything other than a Bucks win. I don't think the Cowboys are going to be as good as 12 and five as the prediction, um, the wins prediction I mentioned earlier that I, I saw that came from CBS Sports. Uh, I don't don't agree with that, and I expect the Bucks to do well and to be. Uh, one of the top teams there in the NFC again this year, possibly to make the Super Bowl again. Um, do I think they'll win it? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I think the Chiefs will be good again this year, but I think the Bucks will start off the NFL season with a big win in week one. Now let's take a look at another game I profiled on the blog, and that is going to be a game between the, uh, where is it? Where is it? I want to go with that Saints versus Packers game. Uh, there it is right there. Now, this is a game that is going to be, my, in my opinion, this is the pick of the weekend. Uh, you probably think so, too. Uh, this is going to be a really good game between two really good teams. Uh, the Saints uh, have had to move out of New Orleans because of the hurricane, as we all know, uh, or you may not know. Uh, and they've moved to Jacksonville for this game to play this against the Green Bay Packers. Now, I read that one of the reasons or the rumor uh, for this game going to Jacksonville was because the Saints selected this uh, because it would be um, uh, a difficult place for Green Bay Packers fans to get to uh, for this game. So there would be fewer Packer fans at the game uh, to give their support to the team. So, well, read into that however you want. Uh, but the Packers go into this game as the score prediction favorite to win at 29, uh, 29 to 28. And that has a confidence of 70.1% going into this game. We've got a uh, totals prediction. Uh, sorry, excuse me, I shouldn't say totals prediction. I should say the over-under for this game is 50 and a half points. And uh, we've gone with uh, the Z code system is predicting over 50 and a half points for this game. And I think this could be a, a, a shootout. This could be a shootout between these two teams. But I, you know what? I think maybe we will see slightly under 50 and a half points between these two teams uh, going into this game. And, and as you can also see, the Packers are the favorites uh, with the uh, Saints as the underdogs and uh, a point spread of plus four and a half there for the Saints. All right, so we've got this game here. Let's look at the head-to-head -head before I give you my prediction on who's going to win this. Last year, these teams played in September, um, almost a year ago, uh, with the Packers picking up a 37-30 to 30 win uh, in New Orleans. Uh, but uh, in 2017, when they met before that, the Saints picked up a victory against the Packers. Now, you can say that, oh, the Saints are playing at home here, so that should favor them, but I disagree. They're playing on the road in Jacksonville. They've been disrupted by the hurricane, and they have you know all of those issues that come with moving very quickly out of an area, um, basically as refugees, uh, to go and to play this game in a neutral site. Um, I'm back in the Packers to win this game. I like the Packers to win uh, and to start off the season with a big victory against a Saints team who has had to up and move yes all right you can say that the packers are cold going into this they've lost four games in a row dating back to last year against the bucks uh, in the playoffs but again three of those games came in preseason uh the saints didn't do too well in preseason either they've lost uh, two games or they lost two games and, and won a game um so i'm back in the packers to win this game and to pick up a big week one win over new orleans and to set the tempo for the season i think the packers are going to be uh, good as you know, as they, as they have been over the last couple of years, and uh, they're going to start with a win over the Saints. Now, I do like the Saints, and I think the Saints will uh, be pretty decent this year. Um, they're in the NFC South, uh, but I do think the Packers will pick up a win here. All right, so uh, I profiled three games in the blog this week, and I'm going to actually have you go over to the blog to check out that last, um, that last pick that I gave, and that pick is going to be for the AFC showdown between the Cleveland Browns and the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs playing at home. Love that Patrick Mahomes, and uh, I really like the Chiefs, but did I pick them to win over the Browns? You'll have to go over to the blog and see at zcodesystem.com backslash blog, where we post lots of great picks throughout the week. And if you're watching the video already on the blog, then, well, that's great because you can get that pick right here. Uh, just scroll down. Um, so we'll have that. And again, like I said earlier, if you're not a member of Z Code System yet, you need to go over there right now and sign up because the NFL season starts this weekend, September the, uh, the 12th. And so you need to get these picks right away. Uh, look at that. We've got all the games already up there. And if you like what you've seen, uh, let me just go back to the Tampa Bay there. If you like what you see there with the predictions, the spread prediction, the total predictions, 
all of that. If you like what you see, then you will have this for every NFL weekend and the playoffs and the Super Bowl. So you can go over there, sign up, and get all this information weekly. And if if NFL isn't the only thing that you bet on, we've got NBA, we've got Major League Baseball, World Series is coming up, we've got soccer, and we've got NCAA sports, basketball, and football. So go over there and sign up. And do us a favor, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything that we post, and like this video so you can, uh, you know, that helps our algorithm to get in touch with other sports bettors out there. So guys, good luck with your NFL Week 1 sports betting. We've given you the picks for the Cowboys and the Bucks and the Packers and the Saints. Go over to the blog, read about the Chiefs and the Browns, and sign up to get the picks for everything else this weekend. We'll see you soon, guys. Good luck this weekend, and I hope you do well on your NFL Week 1 sports betting.